We're open sourcing Markdoc, the authoring tool powering the Stripe documentation website. Let's have a quick look at how to get started. The only thing you need to install is the core Markdoc package. This demo is going to create a Markdoc app with React, so start by importing Markdoc. Markdoc is a super set of Markdown, so if you're already familiar with it, you can get started super quickly. For example, here's the title and the link. Generate a Markdoc abstract syntax tree by calling the parse method. Then use the transform method to transform the AST into a renderable tree. Finally, pass the renderable tree object to Markdoc's React renderer. But there's more. You can also use custom tags for your components. For example, here's a small banner component. To be able to use it in your Markdown content, start by defining a tag object, like this. Then, create a config object and register the custom tag. Next, update the render function with a component object that will map tags to corresponding React components. And now you can use it in Markdown, like this. Tags are composable and customizable. You can learn about it in our docs at mac.io. Another one of my docs' powerful features is syntax validation. For example, you can add a type to the banner component that is required and ensure that it matches either warning, info, or error. To validate this, use the validate method. It will return an error you can handle to make sure you never render broken content. There's a lot more you can do, so feel free to check out the docs at mac.io and let us know what you think.